The Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs are signing wide receiver Marquise Brown to a one-year deal. Hollywood, that could be up to $11 million for Hollywood Brown. NFL insider Jonathan Jones confirms Brown spent the last two seasons in Arizona after starting his career in Baltimore. He joins the Chiefs receiving core that struggled early last season, finishing with the third most drop passes in route to yet another Super Bowl. Emery Hunt, Bryant McFadden back in the fold here to discuss. And I want to see what you guys feel about this because it's a wide receiver that had a great final year in Baltimore and then sort of wandered in infamy in Arizona, as many did because the quarterback situation was marred by injury. As you put this player, this talent, onto the best offense in the NFL or the most potent offense, the most successful one under Patrick Mahomes, what does that look like to you, BMAC? Is this the answer to the question that was not answered a year ago for Kansas City? You know what, Joe? I don't know if this is the answer, but this will help Hollywood Brown out more so than have, helping the Kansas City Chiefs out, in my opinion. Anytime you get an opportunity to play with a guy like Pat Mahomes, you should flourish, right? You should have unbelievable numbers because Pat Mahomes is that good of a quarterback. But in regards to, as I see it, when you talk about the team and what they need to have in place when it comes to the pass catching position, I feel like there were other options. Because when you look at Hollywood Brown, he fits some of the similar skill sets they already have there in place. The Miko Harmon is of the world. Kadarius Tony's of the world. The Sky Moore's of the world. You talk about Rasheed Rice, who had an outstanding rookie campaign. But outside of that, Hollywood fits the measurables of some of the other guys they already have in place. And his skill sets, his skill, his skill set is similar to the other guys as well. So I felt like if you're trying to improve the passing game, go out and get a difference maker. Go out and get a guy that is is different than what you already have in the garage. I mean, you don't want to have a three-car garage and three sports cars. I mean, at some point in time, you might want to drive a little slower. You might want to drive <laughs> big body and run over uh, hills and run through ditches and stuff like that. It kind of change up the pace a little bit. But in all, I feel like this is great for Hollywood Brown because, as I mentioned, you're, play, you're playing with Pat Mahomes. But for Kansas City, he fits the other – he's, he's like the other cars you already have in your garage. And I don't know – if that was the best option, considering some of the other wide receivers that were available that they could have utilized there in Kansas City. I like how you frame that. Could be the best thing in the world here for Hollywood Brown to join that offense and that quarterback. Maybe he's the one running that shuttle motion, a little ketchup and mustard for the corn dog, like Andy Reid said on Super Bowl Sunday this coming season in New Orleans. Speaking of condiments and window dressing, I got to give it to our Emery Hunt here. The, the helmets behind you in a moment's notice changed to Hollywood Brown's new landing spot there in Kansas City. It was a Bears helmet uh, not long ago, so kudos to you, Emery. But your thoughts here on this deal, and I guess I'll frame it this way to you. When you look at Hollywood Brown and what he's done in his career, is there a level of Hollywood Brown that we have not reached yet that you expect to see now with Patrick Mahomes? Man, it, it's tough because it, they say the same things that make you laugh, make you cry. And we've seen this story before. We saw the Chiefs go out and get a Sky Bowl. We saw them go out and get a Kadarius Tony. We've seen them go out and get Miko Harper. We've seen them go out and get Marquez Valdez-Scantley. Now we see them go out and get Hollywood Brown. And we've seen the tide turn to the negative side for all of these wide receivers with drops. So, yes, you can land Hollywood Brown, former first-round pick talented player. But as soon as he drops one of those deep shots from Patrick Mahomes, all hell will break loose in Kansas City, and they will start to lean on him. And some guys got to be mentally tough to handle the bad times when things are not going their way. But for Hollywood Brown, I feel like this is your last opportunity to be a certified number one or number two in an offense. You wonder why I fell out of favor in Arizona. I thought that was supposed to be the ideal spot that he wanted to go. So in Kansas City, yes, he may not be the number one. He's going to get an ample opportunity to, to go deep down the field. But his hands have been inconsistent. It's about him owning that role, showing everybody why the Ravens drafted him in the first round. If he could regain that confidence and regain that, that luster that was around him coming out of Oklahoma, that this is a great fit, but we've seen this before with multiple receivers coming in for Kansas City. Yeah, if anyone's going to unlock that level, it's good time. Patty Mahomes in the mind of Andy Reid. Hollywood Brown making his way to Hollywood in the NFL. All the bright lights in Kansas City. Gentlemen, thank you as always. Here's a look at the projected offense of the Chiefs in 2024. The mainstay as Patrick Mahomes looks to edge past Joe Montana for playoff wins. Still a ways to go to get to the GOAT, but young man as well on his way. Isaiah Pacheco also 
on a rookie deal still coming in on cheap money allowing Kansas City to do some things like pay the center of their defense and Chris Jones on the other side with his mega deal Marquise Hollywood Brown going to be a part of that receiving core Rashi Rice taking a big step forward in the second half of last season and as always the brothers Kelsey featured here in Kansas City.